Okay, so welcome back. We're going to talk through some more probability basics in this video. So the most common questions they're going to ask you in probability are going to be coin tosses, rolling a dice, playing cards, and then colored buttons in a bag. So these are kind of the common examples that you'll see in the books and in the exam papers. Uh, so the first thing is you need to be really, really comfortable with um, the different cards in a deck of playing cards. So I'll just run through them quickly here. And then we've already looked at a coin toss and rolling a dice. We're going to look at a quick example of colored buttons in a bag. So there are 52 cards in a deck of cards, 26 are black, 26 are red. There are four different suits, so hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Um, there are 13 hearts and 13 diamonds, so that makes up the 26 red cards. There are 13 clubs and 13 spades, that makes up the black cards. Um, the numbers on them, or the, kind of the order, is ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then jack, queen, and king. And the picture cards are jack, queen, king. Um, so that's all the deck of cards. You kind of have to know that off by heart for the exam because they don't they don't tell it to you. They expect you to know it. Right. So first, I'm going to go through some examples with a deck of playing cards. So I'll scroll down here. I'll try to keep that there. And then I'm just going to write up here in the corner that the probability um, of I don't know just e, which is say event e, is equal to the number of outcomes where e happens divided by the number of all possible outcomes okay so that's just the formula for probability so fa say for example we're going to have what's the probability of drawing a red card so if you draw a random card uh, from a deck of 52 that are all shuffled up what's the probability of getting a red and the answer is 26 over 52 so the probability of e so the number of uh, e is the number of red cards divided by the number of all possible cards which are 52 which is going to be one half Okay, so that's the same, the probability of black would also be a half. Okay, so to keep going, if we were to go the probability of a heart, that would be equal to 13 over 52. So there are 13 hearts, 52 cards overall, and that's going to be 1 over 4. Okay, so the probability of a specific card. So in this uh, case, this example is going to be just an ace, but really you can pick any number in here, and that's always going to be... 4 over 52 because there's 4 of every single card and um, because say say for the 2 there's a 2 of hearts a 2 of diamonds a 2 of spades and a 2 of clubs so there's always 4 of every card um, and that's going to be 1 over 13 okay if they ask you a really specific question what we're going to do next so say this is the probability of the 5 of diamonds that's about as specific as you can get the answer here is just going to be 1 over 52 because there's only one five of diamonds in the entire packet so that's your probability uh, and then say I don't know for example they ask for the probability of a picture card um, I'll just say picture in there and that's going to be so there are jack queen and king are the three picture cards and there are jack queen and king and hearts diamonds spades and clubs so that means there are 12 overall so 12 over 52 and that's going to give us 3 over 13 overall if you simplify that down. Okay? So those are just the basic questions they can ask. They can ask combinations of these. They can ask for the probability of the 5 of diamonds or something else. Or the probability of a heart or a black. Or all these different combinations they can ask. So we're going to go through some of those sort of combinations later on when we learn some more probability rules. Uh, but if you know these basics here, uh, you'll be able to figure out the harder questions. So the next example we're going to look at are colored buttons in a bag. Um, so I'll just scroll down and I will quickly draw a picture of some buttons in a bag. Okay, so here is our example question. We have a bag of different colored buttons here. So there's four blue, six green, five orange and one pink. And that makes 16 buttons in total in the bag. So we're talking about just picking out a random um, button and then the, diff the probabilities of the different colors. So for example, uh, we'll start by saying the probability of picking a pink button. Uh, and this is just going to be the amount of pink over all of the buttons, which is going to be 1 over 16. Makes sense, right? Uh, the probability of, say, a green one, P of green, is going to be 6 over 16. And if you want, you can simplify that down um, to just 3 over 8. And then the last example, we'll just say, do orange for it, the probability of picking an orange button. Um, yeah, and that's just going to be 5 over 16. Yep, yeah, so it's simple enough. So I just kind of showed you that, just so you're familiar with the type of question. 
Uh, we're going to look at later examples where you have to pick buttons out and then you have to pick another button out without replacing it. So all of these are you pick one button out and then you put it back in and you shake the bag up again. So what's the probability of picking out individual buttons? But if you're ta taking multiple buttons out, uh, that changes the question completely. And we'll come to that later. So again, this is just the basics. In the next video, we're going to look at sample spaces, which are a really useful tool in looking at probability questions. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, show it to your friends if you found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.